Welcome back everyone and welcome to the third and final step of this video series. Up until this point now you've learned exactly how to install a custom server on your computer as well as how to download and configure Joomla. Right now uh, the next step is to gain access to the back end of your website and start editing the site itself. I'm going to take you through some really basic parts of the back end the simple ones that you actually need to get started from there it's completely up to you if you want you're more than welcome to have a look at my other courses that I have available the more advanced courses the step-by-step -step guides on how to make an actual website and you can also have a look at the bonus content of this video series where I show you how to install a quick start and where to get access to some quick starts that you can use to design your website okay so without further ado let's wrap this up once you're in your website itself at the front end to gain access to it again it's quite simple all you would do is you would go local host forward slash your website name and you would gain access to the front end so every time you want to use this the program itself you need to make sure you've got your control panel running you started all your processes and you follow that that command line now to gain access to your administrative panel you simply add another bit of information which is administrator as I already have over here once you're in the administrating administrator login you enter the username and password that you used which was admin and admin 007 in this case for me and you log in just fine it's going to pop up with a simple question here saying um, do you want to collect information for Joomla you just go never because you'll probably be offline while you're working with this program at least for the start for the beginning anyway and here you have it in order to access your site again really quick on the right hand side you just click on preview my site so it's a quick way to gain access to it and from here you can start editing your website if you want to, for example, the home page is currently empty, there's no information there. So if you wanted to ha add some home page information, it's quite easy to do. All you would do from there is you would go to content, click on your article manager, and there are no articles at the moment. Articles are in essence a web page. Okay, so you would simply go to new article and I've got a bit of text I've written out here just basic why you should use Joomla right I'm just gonna paste it in there and I'm gonna just in fact copy that title I'm gonna go control X to pick it up to cut it and I'm gonna paste it in my title and I'm just gonna go ahead and save and close uh, Joomla of course if this is your first time in this sort of back end you're more than welcome to navigate a bit have a look at the options you can use to include images links uh, different view options publishing options you can set article publishing and finishing dates a whole lot of stuff you guys can do I advise you just to get your hands dirty and dig in deep in the back end and just explore it that's how I first started with Joomla about 15 years ago with Joomla 1.5 it literally took me one day to figure it out it really is not that difficult guys okay so with that information that I have there I'm gonna just save and close if I, and if I refresh my actual web page you'll notice nothing is showing because we haven't connected it we need to connect it to an actual main menu which is the home page okay so in order to do that you go to menus and we have our main menu okay if you want to add your own a new menu okay so if you have an about us page that you want to add you would go to your article manager create the new article call it about us come to the menu manager under main menu you would make a new menu item right you would give it the name about us and you would choose the menu item type as an article single article and from there you would just go ahead and browse for your article okay again I'm speeding through this because this is not the actual reason for the course is not to show you how to do everything step by step just yet this is just the beginning guide on how to get the CMS system up and running on your computer 
which will allow you to explore it as you go but like I said I wanted to add a bit of extra content for you guys so let's just stick to what what I was mentioning by remaining in the menu manager just clicking on the home menu that already exists and I'm gonna go ahead and just change that menu type from featured article to single article and I'm gonna select the white Joomla option I'm gonna save it I'm gonna refresh my page and there you have it I now have information for my home page so of course we can go back to the article editor we can open it up and yeah you can see it's a standard ribbon that Joomla uses there are ways to add extended versions through different extensions which I do cover at a later stage in other series uh, so right here we can click on that we can maybe center it a bit we can just save it refresh the page again and just see how that looks and um, yeah there's really so much you can do with this editor uh, even as is one thing I want to change is I want to just change all this extra information here that's popping up uh, we don't need that there so we're gonna go to options I'm gonna show the title yes but I'm gonna hide everything else I'm gonna show the intro text for SEO purposes and everything else I'm just gonna whatever I can hide basically I'm gonna just hide real quick and um, there's actually a much easier way to do this through your global option settings but again I don't want to digress too much I want you guys to explore the system and sort of figure it out where you can for yourselves and of course if you have any questions feel free to again just pop me a, a message or a comment and um, I'll see where I can help you so we just save that with those changes and basically what's happened here now is they have not changed because those are in fact article options now what's happening is because we are connecting to a menu the actual menu itself is the primary has a primary hierarchy so I'm gonna have to go all the way back to my menu manager and I'm gonna have to click on the main menu and the home page and I'm gonna um, actually let's change that title let's call it welcome I'm gonna remove the alias there so it auto generates a new welcome I'll go welcome message or we'll just leave it as welcome in fact and um, just an ex as an example and I'm gonna click on the options section here very similar identical in fact to on the article manager and I'm gonna go through I'm gonna just hide whatever I can hide and once that's done I'm gonna save it and we're gonna see all those extra funny text um, start disappearing or instantly disappear you won't need to worry about that you generally want to leave these options available for your blog and all that so let's save and close let's refresh the page and there we go it's gone so there you have it you've sort of started working on your website already I've given you the very basics on how to use the site already on how to create an article and how to create a menu and how to link the menu and all that stuff so even just with that if you guys rewatch this section over and over you'll eventually get familiar with how to use the back end there are a ton of places you can go to and explore like your module manager if you can see there's a login form here there's your login form all the different settings you can play with on that side is available uh, you can choose where you want your module to show on which side it can be this side of the website that side again a ton of things you can do uh, these are details I'm not gonna go into just just yet and um, that being said one more bit of information I need to share with you especially for the newcomers is we want to go to system global configuration and right here we get you change our website name um, this is my site um, we get to change that meta description I mentioned about previously in the very first video series where you can give your site a new description as well as add keywords 
we've got some more SEO features here like index.follow and all that you can just google what that's all about it's basically just allows search engines to follow your links off your page you're giving them permission to and um, we have our search engine URLs um, already available that's fine if we go to system and server we can set up our standard email address we can edit it you can even send a test email there really is so much that um, you can do with Joomla itself. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this short but basic, um, well, basic yet in depth a video series on how to get started with web design in three simple steps. It's taken us roughly 30 minutes to get to this point. Once you do this enough times, you can have the site up and running or up and ready to work in literally two minutes flat. Hope this was helpful. Please be sure to like, share the link, the video with all your friends. If you get stuck with anything, feel free to send me a message as well. You can message me in the comment section or just send me a private message. Wherever this video might appear, whether it's on my website or on YouTube, it does not matter. I will get back to you. Finally, I made mention of a bonus video that I wanted to create for you guys. I told you what it was about. It's about setting up an actual quick start. And that is how to set up an actual complete completed website where you just go ahead and edit the backend content. So I'm going to do that for you next. So those of you who enjoyed the series and want to continue with it and learn a bit more with the bonus video, I will see you there shortly.